Okay, so I uh, benched two different Q6600 CPUs back in the day and I got the second best Q6600 back uh, from abroad and that's the one I use for the uh, W Prime record scores. My best one, well, it's only the best in terms of single core clocking, uh, is uh, still here and uh, there's no need to run that one, so we will be doing, we will be retrying the second best Q6600 on the Rampage Extreme. So uh, only I will only be attempting the W Prime 32 and 1024M. So uh, well, I only lost the, the 32M top score, so uh, two Persians, and I'm pretty sure that this CPU can do W Prime 32 and even 1024M upwards of. 5050 megahertz so let's quickly try that so we don't really need anything else only windows xp so uh, we could use windows windows 2000 but i think xp is just fine for the top scores so let's just get going and let's see how it goes using f1 dark this time this is much better container than the debout beast the only minus part about this pot is the very slow pull down but once you get it all glazed and uh, you want to use it or you if you want to keep a steady temperature this pot is absolutely perfect with these old cpus so i will just move on to capture card and i'll show the settings and let's see how this cpu clocks okay so let's enter the bars by pressing f1 and i guess i have to load my uh, one of these profiles No damn idea what's the... Uh, hold on. Okay, so the FSB range is 555, 9, 1851. We can put type MEMS, it will not, it will not matter that much for just W prime. So 1.82. One point five. Yeah. No need to use that profile anymore. Just wait for the temperatures to drop to one ten, one twenty, and then we will go. Minus sixty five at the moment. So yeah, I'll uh, let this to cool down and I'll get back to you in the operating system. Okay. 4995, that's where I... So I booted straight to the frequency I used before. This CPU is very, very leaky. This is a quad-core CPU, so we'll put 8. And we hang, so... Uh, Need to figure out the temperature and see. Closing in. <laughs> 10 milliseconds away. For some reason, the score is bad. That's right.
7797. Okay, so uh, that's the W Prime 32 record now with just one attempt. So I was playing at two cold temperature. So now we got the top score of 7797 at 5040. So just out of interest. Oh some kind of FSP limit. No! No! Well, capture card. Boom. Seven, seven. Boom! Yeah, that can be enough. Okay, and that's TW Prime 
1024 and top score yeah 245.657 almost a 10 second improvement so the previous one was 255.016 so very nice result I was close on passing even at uh, higher frequency but it uh, doesn't matter very damn happy so now we can try some 32 m quickly so I mean double prime 32 m Okay, and that's pretty much the end. So uh, I managed to take down the W Prime 32 top score once again. I think the lowest one we saw was a bit under 7.7 .7 seconds, like 7.697. But we hang, or the system hang when we tried to open CPU Z. And uh, I had some memory related issues in the beginning. Not fully sure if it's the mount. The mount could be, uh, or the mount could have some issues. For example, when I hit one of the rods over here. It uh, made me to lose screen, the monitor display, I mean, for like two seconds. So I don't know. But you don't need good memory for W Prime. You could run the memory in a single channel and with stock settings to have the best performance. So yeah. I think the lowest one I managed to save, like properly, was 7.73 something or 7.71. Not fully sure. Well, uh, closer to 7.7 .7 than 7.8 and a very nice 10 second improvement in 1024M as well. So I really like the scores. Uh, Q6600 is one of the most important desktop CPUs that ever existed in the history of personal computer. It was very popular back in the day since it was launched and now I have the top score in validation. Super Pi 1M, 32M, Pi Fast and in W Primes. So very happy and now I will move on to something else. So. Uh, if you like to see these uh, very brief top scores with the Q6600, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.